The one thing my garden's always been missing, apart from butterflies, is a butterfly house. So I made a plan this morning of what I wanted one to look like after doing a bit of research. So let's uh, see how it all went. So this is Nellie, she's the dog we're looking after for the weekend while my mum and dad are away. We don't normally have dogs here as you all know, but she's uh, a good girl. So, three hours of cutting later, we have all the bits laid out here. It's more difficult than it looks. The angles at the end were really difficult and the, the roof part that's gonna go over the top of those, getting those angles right was difficult as well, especially as I haven't got my chop saw set up. So it's all by hand, which was fun. The uh, most difficult bit was the slots. The way I did it was to use a Forstner bit, which is one of these, which you'd normally use, you'd set up a bench and you'd normally allow yourself to, because it cuts sideways as well as in, you would allow yourself to, to move that, the piece of wood along the Forstner bit and cut the slot that way. I couldn't do that, as I say, so I just use it to go through, hold both sides and then another all the way through. The reason you do both sides is because this is pine and it splinters and splits and it will wreck the surface. So go in from the top, turn it over, go in from the bottom, at the end of each slot, so mark your slots out and then a hole drilled at each end and the smaller slots are 3 8 So once you've done the, the holes then you get your jigsaw and you run along the, between the two holes, simple as. And then obviously after that, use a bit of sandpaper to clean them up because the, the, there, there are differences between the where you've marked the top, the slot at the top and the slot underneath, if you like. So they never align perfectly. So they do need a bit of cleaning up, but it's not bad for a first attempt. It could be worse. I, I, half inch is what was recommended with butterflies. It looked a bit wide to me. So I did some three eighths as well. I think the idea is to keep birds out, but I'm, I'm not sure a half inch is small enough to keep birds out, especially some things like wrens or blue tits, but we'll, we'll see how it goes. On the side sections and the, and the roof parts, you'll see I've attached strips of wood, and that's because the front's gonna press against those pieces of wood, and the front will be removable with a turn wooden latch key, if you like, on each side, to allow me to clean it out once a year, and also, if it's a cold morning, I might have a look in there because the the butterflies are less likely, or indeed the moths, less likely to fly away when it's cold. They haven't warmed up yet, so it will be a, a nice to have a look, just to see if anything's using it. I think this is gonna the big part of this is not just the design, it's the placement. So much like with solitary bees, you are looking in a sheltered position, possibly near a wooded area even close to their host plants, the butterflies host plants. So some th something central to a, a really varied species of, of planting as well might be good. And I can't think of many other things. Well, the, the people have said to, to paint them brightly. Again, we're onto the UV thing. They're attracted to bright colors. I always thought that they're attracted to bright colors if they're ultraviolet. Maybe it's the same thing, so you could, perhaps you could clarify that. But hey, paint it bright, different colours, it might work. And I, this is the first one I've made of these, so I will definitely let you know. But I'll be painting it afterwards. So now I'm just going to move on to putting it together. So I'll put you in time lapse now and you can uh, watch it being assembled. totally exhausting working at that speed I'm not doing that again so here it is all put together obviously the vinyl roof's not on and there are some little bits and pieces to finish off there's some wood that needs to go higher up one thing I didn't mention was that I wanted to leave quite a large space above the highest slots because heat rises and there will be the option for them to go into the top area where it will be warmer but all in all it was pretty good at this stage and all nicely rubbed down, etc. And I'm really pleased with it. I was really pleased with it. So 
the next bit was to do the roof and finish it off. The new habitat is finally being used, which is good. The garden spiders this year, the Arrhenius diadematis, are everywhere. So, and the uh, habitat that we just did is done. I haven't painted it. It was too late in the day. I've been working on this for about 10 hours. People look at habitats and they think, oh, that's an hour's work, and it really isn't. I've put a laminate, vinyl laminate flooring, all recycled bits of old laminate flooring. It's amazing what you can use and recycle. So that should allow the water to run off. It's all nailed on and then a couple of bits at the top to cover the top nails, but should work, do the job. Inside, I've glued the top bits in there where they can roost. I guess roost is the right word for butterflies. I don't know. And all the other bits of wood are in there, so to give them something to latch onto. And I've put on the the latch key to hold the front in. So if I can do this with one hand, I will show you. It's a little bit tight at the moment because I've PVA'd the whole thing. So bear with me, I'm doing this with a foot and a hand. There we go. So turn this and there we go. So that's the habitat. I'll step back a bit. That's the habitat all done. Sorry for the camera work. I've also had half a bottle of wine, which hasn't helped. So I think it's turned out quite well, and I'm really pleased with it. It's a lot of work, but I think it's as good as it can be. Location, 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 that's what I need to think about now. Possibly put it on the fence uh, with the rest of the habitats here. I'll try it there for a year, and if that doesn't work, then relocate it up the top here adjacent to the woodland but it's all going to be trial and error I'm not sure if it's going to work but I hope you've got something out of this video even if it's to make your own it's quite a pretty object as well it's a lot bigger than normal ones but I, I like to do things if I'm going to do something I do it with knobs on so <laughs> hope you've enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and share on Twitter and other social networks and come back and I hope I'll have to think of something else now I'm kind of running out of ideas I think the next thing I'll do is to finish off the stump habitat that I started the trouble is that poor tree as much as I love trees it had to come down is still alive and it's desperately trying to grow as I cut into it so I think I'll cut that off and and uh, work on that as a separate project so thanks for watching, have a nice summer, although I'll speak to you before the summer's out, no doubt. Cheers.